Hey guys, Jeroon here with Serp Champion. Today we're going to be talking about tiered link building. Yes or no, should you do it? And I'm going to talk about why I don't waste my time or money on it, uh, except in one specific situation, which we'll get to here uh, towards the end of the video. But uh, let's say, you know, you got your money site here, and then uh, you've got, you know, your choice of quality links or spam links. Now, obviously, you're not going to send these spammy links uh, to your directly to your money site. You know, it used to work back in the day, uh, but now it obviously does not work anymore with all the recent uh, Penguin updates. But, um, you know, let's say you've got your quality links here and your spam links here, and you're wanting to do some tiered link building. So let's say you've got some quality links uh, pointing to your money site. Uh, you know, PBN's guest posts, Web 2.0s that have good content, you know, no spun content and all that. Just quality links, editorial, maybe you got some white hat links, etc. And then, um, you know, maybe you like to use GSA, SE Nuke, uh, you know, maybe you're, some people are really good at it. Uh, but let's say, you, you know, you order a gig off of Fiverr or whatever. Um, you know, you don't want to send them directly to your money site because you're afraid that they're going to be penalizing your site. Um, so you're thinking about, you know, maybe you can order a gig and send some of these uh, spammy links here to one of your quality uh, links or to all of them. You know, that, that's your, your thinking that that could work to boost up your quality links. Now, here is why I would not waste your time doing that because if, the, if, you, wouldn't link these, if you wouldn't link these directly to your money site, then um, why would you link them you know to your quality links because you're just gonna devalue so when you point them if you point them to your money site it's gonna tank your money site but if you point them to your quality links like let's say you point them to a guest post or a web 2.0 why would you do that um, why would it make a difference you know if they're not gonna help your money site rank why would it help your boost up your quality link it's just gonna devalue your uh, quality links. So let me just go ahead and make a note of that right here. So it's going to devalue. And let me just make that in red actually. It's going to devalue your quality links. So, you know, there's the theory on that. Why would you send spam links to your quality links to try to boost them up? They're not going to boost them up, you know, with this day and age of the uh, penguin algorithm and all that. Um, it's just going to devalue your quality links. Now, on the flip side of that, you're thinking maybe, here let me just uh, clear some of this stuff up here. Um, I'm not sure why it's not getting rid of that. Let me just erase that. Um, let's say you have some quality links and you want to point them to some of your other quality links like a, a tier linking structure, you know, tier one, tier two. Um, let me just go ahead and add that in there. So money site here and uh, let's say that you have got a PBN let's make uh, let's make the web 2.0 a, a tier one link tier one okay so the web 2.0 is a tier one let me just uh, make that a little bit easier to see here So that's your tier one there. Um, and then let's say you want to use uh, a PBN as a tier two. You know, like you're thinking, hmm, should I point this PBN to my money site? It's a, it's a quality link, but I'm kind of scared to link PBNs to my money site. I kind of want to have, you know, I want to do more white hat SEO, but I do want to get kind of a boost. Uh, <clears throat> and I don't want people to see that I'm using PBNs on my site. So I'm going to use it as a tier two and point it to the web 2.0. Okay, let's see if that got kind of small. Uh, there we go. Um, okay. So you're thinking, let's go ahead and point the web 2.0 directly to the money site. And then you're going to point the PBN link to your web 2.0 as a tier two to boost up that web 2.0 link. Now here's why I don't waste my time doing that. You know, PBM links are not cheap, whether you make them yourself or whether you rent them, etc. Why would you link them to your web 2.0 
it's going to lose a heck of a lot of link juice and power um, when you can just link it directly to your money site, right? So instead of it being a tier two, just go ahead and directly make it a tier one link as well. So you're going to get the benefit of the web 2.0 for link diversity and all that. Just use naked anchor text or whatever, generic anchor text. And then, or branded or whatnot. Um, and then you just link your PBN to your money site with maybe also branded anchor text or maybe you, you want to use your money keywords, right? But anyways, the reason that I don't do this, link my quality links as tier two to my other quality links that are tier one is it's just you're just wasting your links you're wasting your time you're wasting your money you know you're wasting good quality links just go ahead and point them directly to your money site all right so you know again this is just my theory um, I just want I want to know what you guys think as well you know please leave a comment and uh, let's get a discussion going um, you know obviously tiered link building has worked in the past I mean, it, it, it still works today if you do it right but I'm just talking about in terms of efficiency and cost effectiveness you know like PBNs they're not cheap guest posts aren't cheap uh, or you know maybe you can get a free guest post but you had to put out some quality content that you, you know maybe wrote yourself and that takes time and effort or you had to pay for it you know so um, that's why I think it's best to just link all let me get my there we go just link all, you know obviously the white hat link is just gonna directly link to your money site um, but if you have a white hat link, it's a white hat link. Why would you risk boosting it up with a PBN? You know, if it's a quality PBN, whatever. But why do that? You know, just point the, if it if it's that much of a quality link, don't be afraid to point it directly to your money site. Don't waste it pointing to another quality link as a tier two. You know, you're just going to lose tons of uh, value and juice uh, and you know it's it's just much better to link it directly to your money site i mean that's just my opinion you know let me let me know what you guys think about that um i mean to me it just makes sense to link all your quality links directly to your money site and just don't bother with spam at all anymore right i mean it's don't try to boost up your quality links if you're not going to um if if it's not going to help linking directly to your money site you know if, if that doesn't work then why would it work here why would it, it it's not going to boost up your quality links okay it's just going to devalue them now uh, let's see there is a uh, method I use that is tiered linking let me just get clear some of this stuff up here uh, whoops Sorry, let me just get rid of this here. Um, so, you know, a lot of you guys have probably heard of SAPE. Um, you know, SAPE.ru is a Russian link network site where you can buy uh, links for cheap. They have some really high quality links you can get uh, for relatively cheap. Um, but if you use a lot of them, it, it, it can add up. It, I mean, if, you're, if your website, if you have like an affiliate website, you definitely don't want to use them on a client website, obviously. But let's say you want to use them... Let me just type this out here. So we've got SAP links, like this yellow, because a lot of people are like, ooh, SAP, it's bad, it's bad. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's co very controversial. Um, if any of you guys have experience with SAP, you know, please leave a comment. Um, but I use, I still use SAP. I even link them directly to my money site sometimes. Uh, obviously never for a client site, but some affiliate sites and uh, it definitely works if you have a really good filtering algorithm down where you just find really really high quality websites with uh, really high metrics and you know I know a lot of people don't believe in metrics but when it comes to this metrics are a really good indicator because they're real websites and these metrics are accurate they're not you know um, boosted up artificially it, it can be but if you know what you're looking for then you can tell that these are real websites and the metrics are actual real metrics with like really high domain authority uh, like you know, like a DA of 60 a PA of 60 or you know a trust flow of 50 plus all that kind of stuff with like thousands of referring domains and again when it comes to SAPE you know they're relatively inexpensive I mean for how powerful those links are you know they might still cost you like 20 or 30 dollars a month just for one link but I mean it's a ridiculously powerful link that if you were to get it 
uh, another way, you know, if you were to pay the website directly, um, like if you were to reach out to a really high quality website that's not in the SAFE network, I mean, it could cost you way, way more than that. But anyway, so you can link SAFE directly to your money site. It's very risky because, um, uh, let me fix that real quick. Uh, let me actually make it. Let me just completely redo this here. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, let's make it big. Sape in big letters. All right, Sape. And um, so you can, ah, it keeps changing it. Whatever, Sape. All right, link it directly to your money site. Uh, you know, for client, if you work with clients, you don't want to do that, right? You definitely don't want to do that. Um, if you're a paranoid SEO and you want all your affiliate websites to last forever and ever and ever, then you don't want to do it either. Uh, that's fine, but maybe you want to have some churn and burn sites and, uh, then go ahead and test it out. Now, if, when I do this, so my, I guess, filter for doing this is, like I said, I get really, really high quality websites and I only link with naked URL anchor text. And it doesn't matter. The relevance of the site does not matter. It has to be a homepage safe link. Come on. Homepage safe link. Like a DA, you know, 50 plus or whatever with... Um, 600 referring domains all right for example and then you're going to point this directly to your money site with naked url anchor text directly to your money site okay and you just do that with maybe uh it, it really depends on how old your website is um, how many links it already has does it get traffic you know the link velocity i mean if if you have a brand new site maybe just start with like five per month and just you know just trip feed about five per month um and then that will just dramatically boost the authority of your money site and you only are going to link to the home page of your money site home page right so home the home page safe link naked url anchor text link directly to the home page of your money site and then after that you can get these quality links here um and point them to inner pages of your money site. So let's go ahead and write that out here. Inner page. And then you can use things like, uh, let's see here. You can use, you know, uh, you can still use naked URL, but you can also use money keywords. You know, just a variety of different money keywords pointing directly to uh, the inner page of your money site that way you can really start getting those rankings and you do that you know after you've boosted up your money site's own domain authority because of all these safe links but you know that th there's a lot more to it than that um if you know you never done SAPE before just do a little bit more research on it but that's just you know if you get into SAPE, only get uh i mean just get really high dapa SAPE links and you know watch out for if the if the site links to like cialis or viagra sites or you know online gambling and all that uh just you know kind of skip over that just find really high quality links naked url anchor text only okay that's really important naked url anchor text only and um then you're going to link only to your home page home page only of your money site okay home page only and then that's going to dramatically boost the DAPA of your website, of your money site. And then you're going to be able to get away with all kinds of these links easily uh, using money keywords. Okay. And you can link to Interpage or you can link or you can link to uh, the homepage of your money site. Now, before this gets too confusing, because uh, we're talking about tiered link building, let me just go ahead and uh, get rid of this stuff here. And we'll get back to using SAPE as a tier tiered link building. All right. Okay. Let's 
So you got SAPE here, and you want to do it as tiered link building, like for example, uh, I mean, most likely you wouldn't want to do it to your PBNs. Like if you're not going to want to do it to your money site, don't do it to your PBNs, right? Because they're your own PBNs. You don't want to get them de-indexed or whatever. So uh, you do it to, let's, let's do like, you want to SAPE up some of your Web 2.0s, right? Then you can get any kind of links from SAPE. I mean, just don't get the super spammy ones, but you don't have to get the super high, um, you know, the super high PA, DA ones, because uh, those are going to be expensive. You can get links for like a dollar or cheaper, and uh, then just only use um, like, you know, branded anchor text. Like, let's say uh, you have, uh, let's say you have like a, a WordPress. Uh, let's say let's say it's WordPress, okay, or um, like WordPress.com, or let's say it's just uh, was it Blogspot? Let's say it's a Blogspot uh, Web 2.0 link that is going to link directly to your money site. And then you want to save it up. Like, let's say you've got, uh, you know, you're going to do like five quality SAPE links. And then just only use, uh, like, since it's Blogspot for anchor text, you're going to just do like Blogspot, Blogspot.com. Click here, check this out, etc. But I would mainly just still use naked URL anchor text, right? Blog, whatever it is, uh, myblog.blogspot.com. And then if you're going to do it with your web 2.0s, let's say you have, you know, Blogspot, then you've got LiveJournal, um, you've got a WordPress.org, um, what are some other ones? Yola site, Weebly, all that kind of stuff. Now, I wouldn't go and save up all of them, right? I mean, that would just, like, let's say you've got uh, 10, uh, you've got 10 Web 2.0s, okay? Then I would not, like, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, Web 2.0 links, so let me just make that a little bit more clear. Web 2.0 links. These little dots here are Web 2.0 links, right? And then, you know, you've got them all pointed at your money site. So you, you get the picture, right? You've got 10 Web 2.0s all pointing to your money site. You know, I would, let me just clear some of this up here to make it easier to see. And then uh, let me just put SAPE up here now. And let me get rid of this stuff here. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so you got your SAPE, and then you've got your Web 2.0 links, 10 of them pointing to your money site. Now, um, you know, you can SAPE them up. I would save up, you know, a few of them. That my point is, don't point SAPE to every single Web 2.0. And even if it's not SAPE, like even if you're going to do it all with PBNs, you know, don't boost up all your Web 2.0s. That's just my theory. I don't know what do you, what you guys think. You know, leave your own theory in the comments below. But if if you boost up all of your Web 2.0 links with Tier 2 links, you know, how is that going to look? I mean... If it was a white hat website, 
and it had, you know, it started out by getting some authority by, you know, posting on Blogspot, Facebook, you know, uh, YouTube, Live Journal, uh, Yola site, Weebly, whatever. Um, a, a natural website would not get uh, links to all their Web 2.0s, right? Like if they have a Blogspot, uh, it might they might put some good content on there and get links that way. Um, but I mean, not every single one of them is going to have a bunch of quality links pointing to their Web 2.0s, right? Um, so, yeah, essentially, my conclude you know to conclude this is tiered link building is really just a waste of time. If you have quality links, point them directly at your money site. Um, if you don't use spam links, you know, and if you do want to do tiered link building, do SAPE. Don't use any resellers. Don't go on Fiverr or any of those marketplaces that are selling SAPE links. Get your own SAPE.ru account. Um, it's going to be a little bit confusing because it's in Russian. So if you don't speak Russian, there's a uh, Google Translate plugin for Firefox, Chrome. Um, and then <clears throat> make this bigger here. And uh, whatever. All right. Um, funding your account is going to be a little bit difficult. You know, they uh, do have an option for PayPal, but since it's Russian, sometimes it just PayPal won't let you send it to them. I don't know why. Um, I'm having issues with that. Or you can do a credit card, but uh, a lot of times your credit card will get declined because, you know, if you're not in Russia, uh, I, I don't know. So you may have some issues trying to fund your account, but just stick with it. Just keep trying different avenues, you know, uh, contact our support and then use Google Translator to figure out what they're saying and then type up, you know, your reply in English, translate it into Russian and then send them both the English and Russian version of your comment because the Russian version is going to be total crap, uh, but they might be able to figure out what you're trying to say. But some of them may speak English, so just put it in English anyways. Um, and then next, get your SAPE filter down you know, for uh, trust flow, DA, PA, uh, DMOS, uh, referring domains, does it get traffic, you know, check uh, a HREFs, um, SEMrush, and then just get, get a list of quality sites and just buy, buy like five of them at a time, five at a time, and not all will get accepted especially when you're dealing with these really high quality websites depending on what kind of website you have and um, yeah so sometimes it doesn't get accepted a lot of, there's a very high success rate don't worry about it but just do like five at a time and then um, you know if, if you have an established website do like 20 of them per month and then maybe like uh, 15 to 18 out of the 20 will get accepted and then uh, just drip feed them like that you know just get five of them a week if you have a brand new website, just do like one a day and then five a month. But that's the only real, um, and that's if you're pointing them directly to your money site. If you're going to point them to your tier one links, then uh, you can do a lot more safe links, right? It's a lot safer. Like just do it to one web 2.0 to start out with, like a blog spot link or whatever. Just go ahead and get like 50 safe links and point them to that one and uh, make sure you drip feed them. But because like Blogspot has such a really high domain th authority and trust, you know, it's okay to blast it with a bunch of safe links. Or you can play it safe and just do five. But again, when you do tiered link building, your tier two is just gonna have a very, you know, minimal effect unless you just really hit it hard. And that, again, is why I just don't waste my time with tiered link building when it comes to like boosting up your web 2.0s with PBN links or, you know, uh, sending PBN links to your guest posts and definitely don't waste your time with spam. It makes absolutely no sense if the link is not going to provide so all in all if the link is not going to provide any value if you link it to your directly to your money site it's not going to help you at all if you link it to your tier 2 or uh, as, link it as a tier 2 okay so and if it does if it would give a boost to your money site if you have a quality link that would give a boost to your money site don't waste it pointing it to 
uh, another link as a tier two, okay? Just point it directly to your money site. I mean, why waste that link? But uh, that really concludes this video. Uh, and um, if you want to find out how to buy really quality links, uh, you know, PBN links, um, if you want to get PBN setups, uh, web 2.0s, you know, social signals, etc. cetera, uh, just go to serpchampion.com. And also, there will be more content like this. And uh, don't forget to comment, you know, share us your thoughts and experience so we can all learn from this. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.